Hey guys, I'm Izzy from Our Weekly and welcome to this quick start guide for the King's Rest Mythic Plus Zero Dungeon. This is one of the two Mythic Dungeons locked behind story progression quest lines. The first boss you'll encounter is the Golden Serpent. There's three main mechanics you'll need to deal with. First off, when Serpentine Gust is cast, move out of the circle. Secondly, and this is the core of the fight, when you get the dot spit gold on you, run far away from the boss. When this dot expires, you will leave a gold puddle on the floor. You'll want to group these puddles because when Lucre's call is cast, they will turn into small adds. Slow, stun and knock these adds back, away from the boss while you're killing them. If these adds reach the boss, he'll get a shield that increases his damage done by 50%. If adds or puddles are too close to the boss, pull the boss away from them. While our group only actively killed the first wave of adds, in retrospect you're probably better off killing the second wave as well, depending on how much health the boss still has. Let us know in the comments how you dealt with the second wave of adds. Lastly, Tail Thrash does a lot of damage to the tank, so having your active mitigation for these will help out. Up next is Makimba the Embalmer. We can be more quick about this fight. Don't stand in the fire, heal the person that is targeted by drain fluids up to at least 90% of their health or have them use an immunity. And lastly, when someone gets put into a sarcophagus by Entomb, they need to use the extra action button so you see in which sarcophagus they are and you need to free them by clicking it. If you're not fast enough, kill and interrupt the yads that spawn. When you make your way to the Council of Tribes, you'll have to deal with three trolls which will either fight you directly or occasionally jump into the one ability. First off, Xanazal will require the most attention. Interrupt her poison over while she's the active troll as well as when she jumps into the fight. And kill her totems when she spawns them in the four corners. Kill the explosive totem first as it's the most dangerous one. Secondly, move away when Kula summons whirling axes and continue dodging them for the rest of the fight. Lastly, Akaali will target a player with barrel through, have your party stand in between Akaali and his target. And finally, tanks will need to run away when they're hit with a debilitating backhand. Lastly, you'll face Dazar, the first king. First off, dodge whirlwinds. Secondly, move away from the group when you get targeted by Quaking Leap. Tanks, use active mitigation to reduce damage from blade combo as it really does hurt. Kill the raptor adds when they spawn, while they're not that painful they are disruptive, so you're better off getting rid of them as soon as possible. And lastly, when the swirls start spawning, move around the room with the boss to prevent being impaled by spares. And that's all there is to it for King's Rest. For King's if you liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also check out our other social media and our website at our new domain, wow-weekly.net. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.